Hey beautiful people, how are you guys doing? Hope you are doing fine and keeping safe. Welcome back again to my channel, to the returning subscribers. Thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. And if you are new here, kindly don't forget to hit that subscription button. It's to totally free for us to reach a larger audience. Guys, we are growing. The subscribers, we are growing so much. Road to 3K subscribers. And guys, I don't take your love for granted. Yeah, it's because of your love that we have reached here. Guys, I didn't know that I'll reach this certain place, guys. It's just be God and of course because of you guys that are here. Guys, before I continue with this video, without forgetting, I just want to thank those people that are always just... On my premiere, guys, I don't take your life for granted. Like yesterday, I didn't, um, I was not able to be on premium, guys. There was just a lot, but you guys were there. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you a million times. And also, thank you for to Karen Kedzo. Thank you so much for supporting me always on my channel. Thank you so much. Um, effect for everyone out there thank you thank you thank you mom gabriella you have been so 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 supportive guys you have been so supportive thank you so much mama thank you for your love guys there is something that is coming in store for you people you will see it it's a good one this one you love it guys yeah let's get out of that i was just thanking you my subscribers my family because without you guys it's hard to be where i am so i have to show appreciation appreciation guys you know i'm a luo and with this this s word is always so difficult for us to to pronounce you know people from my community when they want to say fish they say fish when they want to say fellowship they say fellowship you know s and h s h is always a problem for us to pronounce Yes, that is us. We have a problem with those letters. S and H. S and H. Yeah. So, my people, this video has been asked for for the longest, longest time. And uh, I have to do it, guys. Don't worry. I know some of you are asking, Lavin, why are you all in this big, big jacket? It has rained. Not really rained. It has drizzled. So, you know, I was sick. I have to take care of myself. I don't want to go to the hospital again. We want to do our development and do good, good, good things. So, guys, it's almost 5 in the evening. And that is why uh, I've decided to do this video. Because it's not so hot. It's not so cold. You know, during the uh, during the day, it's always so hot. Hot. And you, it's just hot. And then it makes your phone overheat yeah and if it has overheat it stops that is how i lost my special video 30 minutes video you can imagine yeah so guys this video has been asked so many times people on my whatsapp loving how much did you use to build your home how much did you use to build your home and what did you use what do people need to have before starting to build a certain home like this the lavish villa if you want me to approximate even the washroom and the septic i'll tell you but i used a lot i don't know whether i can remember but uh yeah i'll try my best to give you at least snippets of what to do or what not to do before you start a building yeah my knowledge guys i'm not perfect i'm not next to being perfect and nobody is perfect so i'm just helping you with ideas what to do and what to expect what not to do to at least not to have hard time hectic time working with the masons guys you know for me it reached a point that i almost um stopped the construction because it was so a lot for me and i had to bring my dad on board my dad had to travel from kisumu to this space so that at least he can help me with the masons guys you know also building as a woman it's not a walk in the park for those of you who are new here this is my home this is a the place that i call my home yes this is where i have a roof on top of my head this is the place where when my ancestors say that Lavin come or God wants to take me this is where I'll be laid to rest ah, I rebuke it I'm still young 
<laughs> I have to see my great great grandchildren. So yeah, this is our home. So let's go and sit down there, and then I we talk as we bit by bit because there are some things that I've written down. In case you will want me to share with you how, how much I used to build this home, it didn't take small money, guys. It also took a lot of money. It didn't take small money how people think that it is a simple house because even the door the door alone we are being it's being sold at uh, three thousand kenyan shillings so you can imagine yeah only the door it's three thousand kenyan shillings and uh this one didn't have a frame but the other one had a frame you see it was bought with a frame so i think the frame is like fifteen thousand fifty one thousand five hundred kenyan shillings and if you also wish me to do a video about the washroom and the septic tank that is there guys you can also uh write on the comment section or i'll just try to enlighten people because i've been asked that question a lot and some people think that i'm now selfish i don't want to share with them not that i don't want to share with you it the right time had not come but of course now it has come guys it has really rained you can see so let's try and put our video here so that we can talk as family yes uh yes guys welcome back again so i just wanted to start with the main 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 thing that uh you have to use of course we have to use the iron sheets and iron sheets are the mabati i'll show you after i've explained so i'll show you the house so let me just explain first so when i'll be showing you the house you will have a clear picture of what i was talking about guys and i've said disclaimer i'm not perfect and i'm not next to being perfect this is just a video to inspire somebody out there that wants to start what you should have and uh what you should have before you start things that are compulsory yeah more more compulsory compulsory um you can't have literally everything but somebody can tell you you can have a a, a picture or a clear a clear picture or you can have the a bit guys i don't know whether i'm making sense i'm trying to show someone out there that if you have the little that you have you can start with it something yeah you just have a bit a glimpse of what construction is all about and this is in most african countries and i was told that even this uh, iron sheet houses iron sheet is called mabati so that these iron sheet houses they are so expensive even in places like the us yes i was told that and i was so shocked and i'll tell you the reason why most of the people nowadays prefer building mabati uh mabati when i say mabati it means that the iron sheet iron sheet house uh and not the one that we mold the way we used to mold it guys it's drizzling but we have to do it so quick so compared to the the one that people used to smear with cow dung and also used to put mud the one that i've, I've built here the first house the multi-billion dollar home yeah i'll just take you step by step i just want you guys to understand yeah so we have to use iron sheet that is of course because the house is called an iron sheet house the mabati house it has to have iron sheet um on the wall and also the roof there is so many designs there are some that are hipped hipped house are the ones that are there is gable gable is the one that you use uh you let the the iron sheet slant it slants this other side and then it slants the other side then in the middle it has uh it has um a straight line yeah that connects the 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 one that has slant front part and the back part i hope you are getting me until there but for me mine is now a flat roof mine is flat because i just decided to go for the flat room because god willing this is just a temporary one but it is not really really temporary because it will help me with the kitchen me god willing our god we can't limit our god when our time will come yes our time because guys we are all family when our time will come and we will start building our multi-billion dollar home did you hear what i say we will be building our multi-billion dollar home this one will help us as kitchen you know as in africa uh we love kitchen kitchen you can even have visitors that are, are coming and they are not on your side 
by saying they are not on your side maybe for example uh wesley comes god wesley is still young but let me just do example with my son because he is my son when wesley comes with the wife yeah and they still don't have a house here which is the first house we call it simba simba means lion in english so Simba, our first the first has the first house that a son builds in their parents home we call it simba simba is a lion a lion house the first house it's always just a temporary house uh there is where where our men african men bring their girlfriend different girlfriend which is not right it's not right oh it's not right bring your wife there not your girlfriends yeah but that is the truth of the matter so before wesley builds his simba he can come maybe i'll be having my multi-billion dollar home this house will help him can it really help him yeah it will help him with the wife for the time being but maybe that time will get if wesley has his own house yeah i'm just giving an example so even here i can keep some cattle uh, goats chicken and i just lock there when i have my home it's it's a good home it will just be here until when even maybe termites will eat up the wood and it will fall off maybe that is when it will fall off but for me i'll not demolish it maybe this one the one that is in multi-million dollar home maybe we will demolish it with time after mama Gwet has come and spent her night and her day or anyone that is out there and wishes to come and sleep in this beautiful home multi-billion dollar home yes you will come and spend here before we demolish it if god will still give us life yes so the mabati the iron sheet ones in this specific house i used 36 i used 36 iron sheet guys are you getting me until that point they, and they were long they were 10 feet they were not they are 32 gauge and the 10 feet so they are short ones and they are long ones so mine were long ones yes and because i did the reason why i did that my house is so big guys it's so big the way we did with my my mason uh he he was supposed to do like i don't know 10 by 10 you know 10 by 10 they're just these small rooms but he extended it with time even he was telling me loving i don't know why because it took a lot of time for him to build so it was it was a bigger than 10 by 10 how we agreed when we start we wanted to start to build yeah so it was bigger than that and my house is so big even it can fit in two beds yeah it can fit in two my bedroom can fit in two beds that um two beds that are five by six five by six or even four by six you know five by six this my bed is like five by six i guess it's five by six or four by six if i'm not wrong it's just there because it's so big we used to sleep with my son uh, my son here it's so big we share two people can sleep in that bed yes so my iron sheets were 10 feet so they were long ones that's why it came out like this and we had to use round pole these round poles are the ones that these trees guys they're the ones that are called round pole i used like a 12 round pole yeah there were 12 pieces guys you know what round poles are i'll show you there and one round pole goes for 250 kenyan shillings i can't calculate in usd guys because the dollar keeps fluctuating it's up it's down it's up it's down guys yeah and uh they i've not told you the the price of the iron sheet the iron sheet goes for uh i was sold at uh, 1100 but now it's 1200 it it um it varies with where we, you are buying guys we are in the village and those people go and buy them in big centers and so you have to pay for the transport with everything they put in together so the prices are so much high compared to the city that is, is in nairobi nairobi it's it's 1000 or 1 and 1050 but for here it's 1100 that is how i bought them but now i don't know how much they are until now because it's almost a month since i built my home and also you have to use pollen pollen are the ones that you use to straighten your home they look like fisherboard i'll show you right here guys they look like fisherboard 
and you have to buy so mine i bought like 20 pieces yeah pollen and also i bought some roofing nail i i bought them uh let me say i bought five kgs four to five kgs but there are others that i remained here guys they're the ones that wesley used building this rack wesley really spoils a lot of things but anyway he's a child who would wish their home to be beautiful so one kg of um roofing nail uh, i was it was uh, was it, they were being sold at 200 way before when i was fencing this place but now they are at one kg goes for 300 kenyan shillings you can imagine guys it has gone up the price has gone up with uh, 100 bob imagine one kg and then i had to buy nails four inch nail guys you know that four inch nails these four inch nails are the long ones so the long ones i guess they were using to do uh to just make the whole house and i also bought some five kg nails and also three kg three inches and uh two kg two kg so you just multiply by 300 300 if you are in kenya you can just do approximately that so if you go to the hardware it will not be hard for you to know the prices guys i'm helping you out in that even if it goes high it can't go go high more than what i'm telling you okay so i was just saying hi to my baby's neighbors and also i bought cement guys cement i bought like uh i was supposed to buy 15 pieces but with time i added more because i can remember i added five then i added two so i almost bought 22 bags of cement that i used in this house yes people will be like loving but this house all the iron sheet on the wall you used an iron sheet and uh, on top of the roof it was just the floor yes guys it was that serious the reason why i used a lot of cement in this home nowadays the cement that these people sell in the shops are not the cement the ones that they were powerful as before i remember when i was building my gate guys i didn't use that much cement compared to how i'm using cement now i used to use this company that is called um, is it okay to mention on camera no 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 it's not okay but that company used to be so good used to be so good if you just buy one piece or piece of or cement one bag of cement it can do a lot of things because it was the quality was that high it was a high quality compared to now yeah so i used a lot of cement guys because my floor i didn't want you know here there are some spaces, places when it rains the rain come uh, in the floor it's called a cheer i don't know how it's there are some streams that come down the floor in some homes my home there is no but it can't even happen now even if it was there it could it be it could be there because my house i cemented it not really really just doing the normal thing then cementing or putting the nero no what i did is this we took some ballast we took some sand and we mixed them together guys you saw when i was doing that video so in uh, in our native language we say kukoroga so they mix. I, I, if guys go back to my videos and see there is a video that i did when i was talking to my masons and they were in and they were mixing some cement ballast you know that is what they did to my floor they mixed everything ballast sand to make the floor strong it's so hard for a floor that has been mixed well with the cement and the sand to break there are some uh, there are some floors that are just done shoddy shoddy so the floor just breaks in the middle when it the sun is so hot the floor just breaks i hope you are getting me guys oh my god this drizzling so yeah guys that's why i suggest my mason suggested for me to do that floor so that it can be good yeah and also i bought so i used like 22 bags of cement yeah and uh sand i bought one lorry yeah i just bought one lorry no it was a pickup no it was one lorry the sixth uh, wheel i bought one lorry and the lorry 
because I had some here. So that is what helped. And it also remained, guys. You can see it's there. Oh my God, it's raining. What will we do? Should I show you before? Guys, it's raining. <laughs> it's raining, but we have to do this video. Oh my God. It's raining. so guys yeah and uh i hope you have understood me until that particular point my people so what next there is something that i wanted to show you you know even the rain is really making me get confused and also i had masons on site my people i almost had like a one two three four five six i also had uh, i had three masons on site and uh, three handmen so the three handmen were what were they doing some were fetching water some were mixing the soil and the sand and some were bringing yeah they were just helping each other and we had a roof guy and also we had uh, people that uh, were cementing and people that are helping with the roof you know it's it's always a teamwork guys let's go to the house until it stops raining uh, so guys, we had to come to the house because of the rain. It's drizzling outside, yeah? So, uh, I was telling you I had three masons and uh, three handmen, but first day we had two masons. You, you're the one who knows how you will limit your people, but the most important thing when you're having those people is to, ha to work uh, in contract. You know, when you work in contract, they have to push so fast because of the days. But for me, guys, to be honest, I don't see whether it's working for me, guys. Because um, even when I was doing my my washroom, the way the way we organized with the masons, that is not what they delivered. And uh, I was I I told you that I almost gave up, guys, because I ended up spending a lot a lot of money. And also more days and you you can imagine the masons you have to cook for the majority some people do one meal like me because uh, guys you know for example I have to wake up and do the house chores and also have to shoot my video and also cooking so I can't do breakfast and lunch so I decided when they are here maybe they come from their homes when they are already they have already taken their breakfast in their homes of course Majority of them they are married and you can't leave your husband to go to work without food Or some people leave their husband to go to work without food without taking breakfast even if it's just a strong tea And then lunch I provide yeah, maybe if I'm not feeling well or I'm, I don't have the cash guys because you know we also miss sometimes even that rich person there or somebody that has given you work sometimes they can go without uh, money and they can just tell you for free there was a day that i was sick and there was another day that uh, i didn't have the cash but i had their money what i had was just for me and i remember that time i was going to pay my my son's school fees so i could not sacrifice my son's school fees cooking for the masons and leave my son with. guys are you getting me so i just told them that um today you will sort yourself because i'm not in a position to cook for you i just became frank and told them because guys no man is an island right no man is an island i just told them the truth and um yeah because in the long run i gave them their money that they worked for yeah you know this me i normally say cooking for them is just from the heart no one forces uh, somebody out there but i see in the village more so in the village it's like it's compulsory yeah that is how people take it but uh, even for me guys i know i'm saying a lot of story not that are not in this uh video that we are doing but it's good to learn yeah as we normally say no man no no one is perfect guys yeah so i remember when i was working for three thousand five hundred in Nairobi as a tailor guys you can imagine 3500 is like uh, 20 no it's not even 20 dollar 
it's ten dollar yes no guys twenty dollar is what no imagine it was twenty dollar or thirty twenty five because i was being paid three thousand five hundred and then i elevated to four thousand then after that i elevated to five thousand that is when i stopped because it was not working it was so little and i'm overworking coming from from it was a good thing that i liked because that is what i've learned in school but uh you you can imagine you're going to work at 8 a.m you have to be at work and then 6 p.m and then the salary that is where you're getting your fare that is your, your bus fare and that is where you are getting your lunch yes that's why i decided to to travel to middle east <laughs> hey guys i just pray to god that one day i start enjoying my i just start enjoying and having my good time with life i i travel i just have the best because guys I think I've gone through a lot and I've sacrificed a lot to make this work life work because you know I don't want to sit there and just wait to be given guys who will give you every day you have to push for that person to at least give you some little bit of token yeah you know what I mean or not I mean hard work yeah and then we came to content creation guys we are trying everything here so that Wesley and Raphael can go to school and have the best education in life i hope you have understand me until that particular point and then the other part let me now talk about the windows the the doors i bought this door at um it was 2500 with the frame yeah 2500 or 3000 something of the sort yeah but they are so good and also i bought window my windows were two and a half by two two and a half by two and then what else did i buy and then another thing that i bought is the windows the windows are the the mirrors the windows are not being bought by the mirrors but i can't remember how much the mirrors cost i think it's 400 per piece i don't know because you know if i'm outside i see you but you you can't see me in the night it's opposite in the night you can see me but me i can't see yeah but don't come and, and stare at me when i'm sleeping at night it's bad manners yeah is there another thing that i want to share with you guys i think that is all so guys i I've, I've told you that uh, the muscles i pay in contract so the muscles were here for it was four days or five four to five days they were here but the fifth day it's just the person that hold, held the contract is the one that was coming to do the finishing because the first day we, they were measuring the house and also it was three to four days three days i think they were done in putting this structure and then the windows and everything the reason why it took so long some things were not there on site like the windows had not bring uh early pre and also i think the windows and the doors took a lot of time and also my locks guys i'll show you my locks i was using this the ones that we use um the ones that are made by this, we call them Juakali. Juakali are these people that just make things for themselves. They are not really made in companies. Somebody loving, just learn how to do the locks and then I lock. They are called Juakali and they are always the best here in the village because it's so hard, guys. You know, we, we, we are in the village and it's a big place and you don't know anybody's intention people have to have security that is what i normally say and it's a good 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 thing to do wherever you are staying because no one wants to stay a place that you feel insecure yeah my people i think there is not much that i wanted to show you uh, yeah what took so much of my money much much is the iron sheet 
because the iron sheet the prices went up and also the cement that i used uh plastering this house because i also used uh i also made veranda and the veranda is so big i'll show you that and uh the nails also went up yes the nails also went up so they were a bit expensive those are the records that i kept i think there is none again yeah so i want to show you step by step guys i want to show you inside first before i show you outside uh the things that we have yes i think i've explained everything so now when i'll be showing you you will know what i mean so stay tuned my people i love you guys so much is our solar is still lighting up so these are the pvc i look the pvc or how are they called they had a name uh ha huh. these are the round poles that i was talking about you see this these are the round poles that i used almost 12 these are the round pole guys you know what i mean and these ones are so good they are different from this one they have a certain name let me check their name so that i can tell you they have a certain name and they are so good to use um they are so good to use up they hold the room so tightly guys yeah i think it's too they have a name but you guys know if you go to the hardware your mason will tell you their specific name i don't know their name i've forgotten their name i don't know they're the ones that they were called two by two yeah yeah guys they are called two by two a hundred feet yeah they are called two by two they are the ones called two by two hey sola how are you the sun is down but we still have a lot of uh solar yeah so they are called two by two and uh, yeah guys you can see how in here is these are the ones that i used to put the roof yeah and the good thing about my home it doesn't rain anywhere they i had some leakage a bit of leakage uh in the nail the nail part there are some parts that have put a mark here you can see here this part he came and put some rubber so if somebody is making for you your home like this mine they have to put a rubber in that in this nail you see this nail here there is a rubber that is kept here it's pinkish in color and uh, it helps the iron sheet to block that well so your house will not have leakage because i tried putting party silicone but it didn't work so that rubber is so important do it before the masons uh, do his thing because some masons will not come back on site like mine came back and did it free of charge and this is my door here guys this is my door this is how my door looked like look like but i have to paint it for it not to get as uh, spoiled yeah these are the round poles that i was talking about and then my window this is my window two by two by a half let me show you this is my window you see how beautiful it is this other side you can't open but you just open it at in one end which is the best and the best i didn't realize that but you just open it like that this one i bought separately you didn't you don't get it with the windows windows you are just being sold this still alone this one you buy separately the mirror you buy separately guys and this is the view of my sitting my sitting room guys this is the view of my sitting room so yeah this one i just bought at a hundred kenyan shillings a hundred and then even this one i bought at a hundred kenyan shillings so i have to lock it because of the cold yes have to lock it and oh yeah so yeah that is my home guys that is my home and this is the frame that you buy together with the this is the frame that you buy together with the door you see how beautiful it is yes it is stand down there it is beautiful so guys you see the veranda that took my uh, a lot of 
Let me show you. You see my floor? My floor was well, well done. You can see how strong it is. There is no crack anywhere. Like literally any crack anywhere. Like uh, it's breaking. There is nowhere that is breaking. It's because it was well done. Yeah. It was well done. So it can't break. We just wait for the plywood to come. So that our house can look beautiful as the owner. But for now we still call it a home because it provides a roof on top of us even my bedroom it's the same guys my bedroom is the same it looks so good apart from this other part that we stepped on when it was still dry yeah so this is the veranda you see the veranda was so big and it uh, it needed a lot of cement it needed a lot of cement. I've got it. This is the second bucket of water. I did. I. It needed a lot of cement. I just want to take you around so that you can see. And you see, it was work well done. Work well done. That is the back of our home. Yeah, my people say that you love in that hole is so big, and then they did that the, my mason just uh, did that thing and now it doesn't have a big hole yeah you see how it was done my people it was done so well it doesn't break and it's so strong so strong this is my veranda my veranda uh -huh. so when it was leaking i tried using this but it didn't work what worked is the the rubber band the, that you put on top of that nail yes and then my fisher board these are fisher board that i used these ones were just at home i bought them for my septic tank so when they remained i had no choice but to use them because i ran out of finances and because they were here i could not go and get other ones this fisher board they always have some shape here at the end but mine don't have shape the reason why i didn't they were not done uh in the hardware these are just the ones that i bought and they remained so i had to use the ones i had yes have you gotten me until that particular point guys i love you so much thank you for your support and your love i hope you have learned something one or two yes so i don't know whether we should go with you guys and buy something or i just end my videos until here guys should we go or we end our video here <laughs> today the weather will not let us it just it feels like it just wants to rain every time i know it will rain in the night yes in all guys building is not easy so i know some people will be like loving you have not told us how much it costs in total guys i almost hit 200 case to it almost hit 200,000. yes that small house that you see there it was not a joke it almost hit there guys when i do the calculation well well with the things that I bought and also paying the masons, literally everything, even it can pass, guys. Yeah, it can pass. So, when you want to build that, you have to have like uh, you, you have to have 200, it might be more or it might be less compared with where you are, and also compared with uh, how transport is done in your place. And also compared with how much do you pay your masons, yeah? And how much do you say pay your masons? What is really, really killing us Africans is the transport. The transport is so high. It's so high, yeah? And also things have really, really gone up. But we have to do and keep pushing. So those of you who are asking me about that place, I hope now you have gotten the answer. And also you have known what to have before you start. Some people will even use 100,000. Yes. Maybe places like Mombasa, where they, the cement is cheap. I know they even buy cement at 700 Kenyan shillings because the factories are there. 
and also maybe they are they are they get sand for free because of the ocean with everything and also maybe they get um their muscles are cheaper compared to these muscles of our side yeah so it varies with you the places that you are but for us it's a bit high but that one will not stop us from doing what we love and also doing development god will just come through for us the little that we have we have to do with it things that we have to do yes are you understood because guys you see even this matafari the small ones the red ones some people still buy them at five shillings some places here in africa places like kakamega nyakach yeah those places next to eldoret they still buy the same uh, the matafari the small ones at five shillings but for us we buy at 10 shillings so you see and you have not even brought it to the site the prices are very very high yeah that is those are the challenges that we go through it's so high it's double so for somebody that is in that place buys two matafaris at 10 shillings maybe they buy it to next next their neighbors because their soil is so good those places the soil is so good so when the soil is so good they just bake for themselves or people are doing it for a living but for us here we have to go to the hardware and you know when you go to the hardware those people are doing business they are going to buy it from somebody that is selling then they bring it to the hardware after the hardware after bringing it to the hardware they have to make profit so they have to make profit and the transport is also there you know guys it's just it's just a lot compared it to buying it from someone someone direct someone that is going to just make for you and bring for you for example uh lillian lillian is going to make and bring it to me direct but lillian has to take it to the hardware to grace so that me i go and buy from grace and you know grace wants to make profit and pay lillian and lillian the transport guy wants to get profit and it's just a lot yeah so it the prices has to be high so don't mistake don't mistake me i'm just trying to and and lighten because that guys i've gotten that question a lot a lot a lot a lot so i hope i've answered you guys and yeah stay blessed let's go to the market it's so chill you see how our place is so chilled guys you see how our place is so chilled <laughs> we love it that way we love peace of mind yeah we love peace of mind thank you guys for watching until this particular point may you be blessed beyond measures and if you are in premier gang and you are watching until now thank you so much i don't take your love for granted and may you be blessed 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 yeah thank you and see you on my next video loving here if you haven't subscribed kindly subscribe if you kindly like subscribe comment and share road to 3k subscribers thank you so much and be blessed of course you are god's favorite child let no one tell you otherwise bye bye